Welcome to the NCM Student Orientation Part 2, Getting Set Up. This includes plans of completion, student and preceptor binders, scheduling time to meet regularly with your preceptor, and establishing roles and rules. NCM's trimester system. NCM trimesters are four months or 16 weeks long. Spring is January through April, summer is May through August, and fall is September through December. NCM has rolling enrollment, allowing students to begin at any time during a trimester or partial trimester. Enrollment is discouraged October through December. Student and preceptor submit completed grades and forms to the college at the end of each trimester or partial trimester. The end dates of each trimester are April 30th, August 31st, and December 31st. NCM's ASM program length. The ASM program is a three-year equivalent program that can be completed between two to five years. The shortest the program can be completed is six trimesters. That's three years with summer breaks or in two years without breaks. The longest is five years. No extra time is given beyond five years for breaks or time off. Most students complete the program in two and a half to three years. Students plan the order and speed of their program with their preceptors. The time the program will take a student to complete depends on how much time they devote to academic study and the volume of their preceptor's clinical practice. Plan of completion. Making a plan of completion with your preceptor is a requirement of enrollment with NCM. A plan of completion is not a binding contract, as the practice of midwifery and life is subject to change. However, it gives the student and preceptor an idea of how long the program will actually take to complete, allows for a meeting of the minds on what the apprenticeship will look like, and can be used as a guideline to judge student progress. Plans of completion can be re reassessed by the student and preceptor as a team at any time during enrollment. To complete the full ASM program in the shortest amount of time, which is six trimesters of study, requires roughly the equivalent of working a full-time job as a midwifery apprentice in both academics and clinicals. This means approximately 40 hours per week with the addition of time spent at births outside normal work hours. Preceptor clinical site birth caseload. If a student's primary clinical site does not have enough births to allow completion of all clinical requirements in the desired time, then the student must make plans to either extend the clinical apprenticeship or spend some time at a higher volume birth center to complete clinical requirements. Clinicals must span at least two years. So even if a student completes the minimum numbers of each type of clinical early, she or he must continue clinical training. You can see in the chart that um, the births needed per trimester to complete in two years would be nine, and the longer time you take, the less births you need per trimester. Academic requirements. The ASM program includes approximately 80 credits worth of academics. In order to complete the program in two years or six trimesters, the student will need to complete approximately 14 credits per trimester. The student and preceptor decide which order to complete the required courses, and more specific information on how to complete academic courses is covered in another part of the student orientation. Course load and time projections. This is a summary chart of the previous few slides. It shows number of years, trimesters of study, academic credits per trimester, births per trimester, and approximate apprenticeship hours per week to give you an idea of how much you need to do to finish in the chosen amount of time. The plan of completion form is available for you to download from the website. It includes a sample plan, which is already pre-filled for you, that would cover six trimesters. And it also includes a form with space to fill in for up to 15 trimesters for the full five years. Generally, we recommend that you would try to plan for earlier, and then if you need to take more time, you can. It is important for students and preceptors to keep a copy of all of their work and all interactions with NCM to be able to track their progress and to have a backup in case something gets lost in the mail or eaten by your dog. 
NCM has created a set of binder dividers to help students and preceptors keep everything organized, or students and preceptors are welcome to make their own. The NCM ones are downloadable from the website for free. At the very least, a binder should include sections for plan of completion, transcripts, academic course grades, clinical forms, evaluations, NCM correspondence, applications, agreements, and contracts. And don't forget, you can download the printable versions from NCM's website or make your own. Scheduling time to meet with your preceptor. Plenty of time is generally spent together during an apprenticeship, whether it is in clinic, during briefings and debriefings, charting, traveling time to and from home visits and births, or during restocking and cleaning. NCM considers this all valuable time spent in training. However, it is important to also devote specific time to academics and evaluations. During this time, students will have the opportunity to present their answers to the learning objectives to their preceptors for evaluation. Preceptors will have the opportunity to elaborate and tie student answers to examples of real clinical practice. Students and preceptors can also take the time to assess their progress, strengths, and look at solutions for weaknesses. NCM recommends scheduling in at least one to two hours per week that are specifically for this purpose. Some students and preceptors meet for several hours once a week. Others meet for 15 to 20 minutes each day before or after clinic. Establishing roles and rules. The relationship between a student and a preceptor can be a complicated one. Often, interactions take place in a high-stress environment. Problems can be easily handled if a clear set of rules and understanding of each person's role in the relationship is set out prior to starting work together. The preceptor job description, including rights, responsibilities, and requirements, can be found in the NCM Catalog Handbook in the Preceptor section. Students' rights and responsibilities can be found in the Student Policies section. Additionally, NCM recommends writing up an agreement including at least the following, the length of the apprenticeship, time requirements, attendance and time off, hygiene and professional appearance, confidentiality, payment, and completion of assignments and evaluations. Thank you for watching part two. You can find out more about, about us by watching additional sections of the NCM orientation series, checking out our website, or calling the office or emailing us to talk to us.